The squirrels have been doing a little work on my pumpkin. They didn't like my design, so they did their own uh, version of it. But it's uh, going to be heading to the garbage soon. It's after Halloween, and we don't need it out anymore. So, had a good run this morning. It's November, and it's still pretty nice out. It's only about 50 out. So it's a pretty cool, but it's a nice run, nice day out, nice blue sky. As you can see, the uh, colors are changing on the trees out there. Took Riley for the second part of it. He's down there just eating some grass. He thinks he's a goat or something. So we'll see how it goes today. How's everybody doing? I'm hoping you're having a good week. Friday's just around the corner. Uh, I wasn't able to get my vlog up yesterday on Wednesday, but today, Thursday, here it is. And I just want to go over a few things that uh, Apple announced last week. One of them I mentioned last week in my vlog about the MacBook Pro changes. I haven't decided if I will upgrade yet to the new one from my uh, 2014 because it does have the ports that I use in my workflow. So uh, we'll see how, about, how that goes. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you about Final Cut Pro. That also got an upgrade last week. And they've made some good changes, I think, for my workflow. I don't know if it'll be good for your workflow, but it should work for mine. But I just wanted to touch on a few of the top five changes that I've seen and how they will affect me. So let's jump right in and see what we have. First thing you'll notice when you open 10.3 is it's gotten a flattened look to it. Gone are the days of the 3D effect with the buttons and also some of the headers up above on the bars and such. So it gives you a little more flat effect. So it gives you a little flatter effect and it's supposed to help you focus mainly on your project that uh, you're currently working on. Once you get over the flattened look of the, the new 10.3, you'll notice that this middle bar here has lost a lot of its effects from the current 10.2 where a lot of your browser effects, transitions, titles are on, all on this right hand side here. But now they've split them up so now you only have uh, two of your effects. Your hide and show effects of the browser there and also you have your installed transitions there. Those two things are left on the middle line. Most of the other things have been moved up to the top left hand corner where you can see your audio, photos, your titles, and your generators. Also missing from the center line is your timeline, your enhancements, and your retime. They've moved that up to just under the preview window. So now you have your enhancements, your retime, and your timeline right below the preview window. Also in the new version, we have a full height inspector. In 10.2, whenever you wanted to see the properties of your video, audio, or info, it would all just stay in this one standard little window. But now with the new version in 10.3, once you double click the toolbar, it goes into a full height inspector. That way you can see your video, audio adjustments, any info, and also your share information right there in a full size window. And then once you're done with it, you just double click it and it disappears and your other windows go back to the normal size. They've also added custom workspace to 10.3. Up and under window, we can now show what we want to see in the workspace and also create our own custom workspaces, organizing color effects, save as a workspace. So as you work with, within your workspace and want to change something up, you can lay it out the way you like it and just save that workspace in your particular workflow. Where in the old version of 10.2, under the window, all we could do is hide or show different windows in different browsers. So that's the changes they made on the middle bar on the right hand side. Let's go head on over to the left hand side and see what's going on there. Now in the old version, you had your import arrow right there on the middle line. Where on the new version, they've moved it up here to the top left hand corner. That way you can import anything from your cameras or your devices. Also changed on the middle bar from the old version where you could show your clips in film strip view or line view. You still have that ability. But on the new one, they've moved it up to the top here, where you can toggle between the film strip and wisp views. So that's my take on the new Final Cut Pro 10.3. You're going to have to do some hunting around for a little bit, but once you know the layout and where things have been moved, and they're not really difficult to find, 
you should be back into your workflow and then you could set up your own workspace now that we have custom workspaces. So I'm going to jump in, finish up this vlog so I can upload it to you guys and I'll see you next time.